Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Working Horse with Jim. Today, we're going to, Brent and I are going to take the can out and do a little cultivating in the big cornfield, and we'll show you that. We have Baron out in the barnyard this morning. We have Lady over here. So it is just about time for Lady to be coming into heat, and we will be getting her bread back. Um, a mare comes into heat, her foal heat, uh, seven to nine days after she has her foal, and then generally 30 days approximately after, uh, from the day she has her foal, she comes into her regular heat, and that's what we um, strive to hit, uh, strive to get her bread at, at 30 days, which is 21 days after the nine days, and that's uh, how that works. So I did put Baron out into the barnyard so he could run around and get some exercise. And he is also kind of a indicator of whether or not Lady is in good standing heat. Of course, he's all worked up outside. But let's get to cultivating and we'll see how the day goes. So we're all ready with Brenda ready to drive can out to the cornfield. So let's head on out, Brenda. Careful step. We bailed up a bunch of hay two days ago now, or yesterday some too. I have this wagon load here, part of a load we got to unload today. We were actually able to sell a bunch of it to an Amish, so we, we actually took it right out of the wagon and right onto his trailer, which was great. So our cornfield is a real mess. I haven't been able to get the weeds down like I would like. The corn is growing, but uh, there's a whole bunch of reasons why the weeds are so bad. Um, you know, the, the weather has to do with how bad weeds are. Um, how well I cultivate has to do with it. I think sometimes fall plowing or spring plowing makes a difference, I think. I think the fall plowing actually does a better job of weed control. This spring, I plowed this in the spring and I kept it, I didn't plant it for quite a while. So I was able to go over it quite a few times with a spring tooth harrow, thinking that, thinking that I could get the, the weeds down under control. And yet, I think it's turned into the weediest crop I've ever had. I had some issues with the corn planter itself. I had some issues with using old corn that did not germinate as good as it should have. Oh, I just had a lot of issues. Um, I decided instead of using the riding cultivator, I would use the one horse cultivator. I tend to have better control with this, less issues with covering up corn, and more ability to swing back and forth on the road to pick up weeds that I do not have with my ride and cultivator. There again, if I had a really good ride and cultivator, it might be different, but they just don't have the control that I'd like to have. So Brenda is doing quite well driving Ken. She's getting a lot of experience driving him. On the ends though, I take over the lines and turn him around. It's a little bit trickier here, so instead of her dealing with this, to start with, she can just practice driving up and down the rows and I'll spin around on the ends. We don't usually cultivate for hours on end. If we come out and just cultivate an hour every day, it just keeps us 
getting this weeds down a little bit and keeps us in practice and it keeps us in shape. It's surprising. It's a fair amount of work doing this the old fashioned way like we are, but it's going good. Okay, so we got the cultivating done for today. And I don't know, the, the weather forecast is just don't seem to be getting it right these days. It was supposed to rain today. And as you can see, we have a beautiful sunny day. And I surely should have put more hay down, but when they're calling for rain, you don't put hay down. So um, even the next little while, the forecast does not sound very good but it may be threatening showers, but we never get them. So there'll be times where I'm gonna put some hay down and take that chance. But anyways, I need to work on this wall right now. So here's my truck body. And as you can see, Baron especially has been causing some troubles. What he's been doing when he was tied here is he's been taking the, the pole of whatever implement we're hitched to and slamming it into the wall a little bit. I had a piece of plywood on the back side of this truck body and that's, rotted out and gone. So there's nothing to help keep that from breaking up. And so he's really smashing things. So I haven't been able to hitch him to here for like a week or so now. And so I am in the process of getting some two by sixes for to go, I'll have one there. I'm gonna put one on this side over here and one down the center. And then I can run two by sixes horizontally up all the way through halfway up to that truck body to stop him from causing more troubles. So that's what I'm working on today. We'll get that done hopefully, and I'll show you how it comes out. Well, folks, I got it done. I wanna show you what we got here. So what I did is I ran three vertical two by sixes, bolted it onto the truck body, and ran all these two bys horizontally, and spiked it all on, and then I even put some dirt on the bottom I know that bottom plank will rot out faster because the dirt is there, but it also will keep it so much more secure that I want to do that. And I still have all my places to hitch my horses, the different spots. And I also went and did one thing further. I ended up putting this one by four right here. I don't know about you guys, but I've done this so many times and I didn't put a one by four here. And you have this two inch gap here that is so handy to drop things. You can drop your keys, you can drop your phone, you can drop your whatever, right down that two inch slot all the way to the bottom and about impossible to find. So I took the time, put this one by four little shelf up here. This would be nice if I wanted to set things here, even while I'm working the horses out here beside the, the hitching post that I have. So my question for all you guys is, is this barren proof? Will Baron be able to break this? He seems like he breaks so much stuff being a, a stallion and all, it's just so rambunctious and, and uh, he sure did quite a lot of damage to this truck body, that's for sure. And so I, I'm curious what you guys think. Do you think this two by, this two inch wall will hold him from 
causing any troubles here. Let me know in the comments. Ada. Hey. Cast out. Gee. Hey. Oh, ah. Gee. 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 Oh. Oh. Up here. Up here. Ah. Oh. Good bell. Ah. 
Oh. Okay, so spreads are down. All we had is two loads. We got the bulk of the manure out of the pile there. So I'm going to be bringing them horses back in here in a bit, but I wanted to talk to you and get your advice on mats. So these are mats that I put in a year ago when I made my new stalls. I am realizing now that maybe it's not the best thing that could have done. Um, I actually took Baron's mat out this morning and I'm going to take out Ken's mat now and I'll show and explain why. And I might be taking out Bill's mat also. What has been happening, and this is not the important thing, but what's been happening is my most of my mats are not connected down. On Ken's mat, when I did it originally, I put two mats crossways because they're only four foot wide. And so if I went crossways, they worked good and I actually screwed them down, but there was a, a joint in the middle. And just in the matter of about a year, it took out the mats. And so it, it broke those mats, the, the back mat here. So I took it out. I purchased another mat and I've only had this mat in here lengthwise for, I don't know, maybe six months at the most. And just recently, look at this. It's got a crack, a rip there, and you can't really see it, but it's a rip right there. So there's part of the issues that we're dealing with with mats. That, to me, is not the biggest issue. What is happening is the purpose of these mats is for a little bit more comfort for the horses, although I, I don't think that's really crucial. Um, it's hard to believe for a lot of you people, but these horses are perfectly content laying right down on these wooden floors. I keep them dry with sawdust. I try to do a good job of keeping them clean and dry. But uh, the mats do add a little bit of cushion. But the, another reason for the mats is to keep the moisture off the wooden floor. And uh, I thought that was going to work really well. Well, and it seems like it does. But then the other day, I was curious. And so I grabbed one of these mats and flipped it over. OK, so as I flipped it over, I am seeing that there is continual moisture on the floor. I am questioning, and I love your, you guys' opinions, and if you've had mats and whatnot, but I am thinking I am actually going to rot my floor out faster by having mats here. Because the mats are, are making the floor, the wooden floor, wet always, and it's staying wet. And it's not just when animals are here. This is Lady's stall here. She hasn't been in this stall for two months. The other day I flipped it over. It's a, it's a rotten mat anyways. But look at the moisture, even underneath that bat, with absolutely no animal in here. So I'm thinking that these mats are actually going to rot my floor out faster. So I'm going to take them out. I scrape them down and I bed them continually, I mean a lot, and I think I can keep my floor drier without the mats in. When the mats, it seems like the mats are the best way to go, but I, I guess I really question it. So if you guys have had much experience with mats, that's kind of an issue I never thought of, but it does make sense because you've got all that rubber underneath, it gets moisture and it just has no place to go. And it's not really even the moisture that comes from the horses. I think it's just the, the heat of the, of the rubber maybe against the wood. It just, it's just wet. 
See that? And I think when I have, without the mats, sawdust and just continually cleaning, we'll keep these floors drier so they'll actually last longer than they will if I leave the mats in. So I'm gonna pull these mats out. I might leave, I might leave one of them in just to, so I can compare, but I definitely wanna take out Ken's and his is only, it still will have the front part in, but as I pull it out, look how wet that is. This front one is actually screwed in, so I won't bother taking that out for right now. But I'm just gonna compare. I mean, this is sopping wet on this floor, and it stays that way continually with this mat on. Without this mat on, on the days that they're not in here, it dries out completely. So I think I'm doing more harm than good by having this mat in this stall. So they're coming out. Let me know in the comments your experience, what you think of all that. And uh, yeah, let me know. See what, what other kind of troubles we can get into today. Ah. Ah, Hi everybody. Tonight I'm in here with Bree. We have not had a lesson with her for I think three days now. We've just been so busy haying, it just hasn't happened. So, ladies tied up. And I'm gonna have a short lesson with Bree. Brenda's gone. 
up to Canada to do some shopping with the girls. So, don't have anyone to film. So I'll have to just walk with the camera and see how Brie does. So, the last time I did anything with Brie, we actually brought her outside and uh, right at the threshold of the door is where she stopped before and she's stopping this time too. So I'll just give her a little bit of time here and out she comes. So I'm going to take a little short quick turn. Come here girl. It's so much easier when Brenda does the videoing than me. I'm going to have to set the camera down. Okay, so we'll do a little more walking here. Amy. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Go give me your foot tonight, huh? Give me your foot. Mm, that a girl. That a girl. Other side. Up we go. Give me your foot. Give me your foot. That a girl. Good girl. Come here. Come She's leading really nice. I think now I'll tie her somewhere and brush her a little bit. Come here, girl. Come in, lady. Come here. So I get her tied up here. And I don't have a brush. There we go. So I'll just brush it with my hand. There we go. Yeah. Be better if I had a brush, but I don't. And come here. Give me a foot. Atta girl. Atta girl. Oops, 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 oops. Oop. Good girl. Good girl. Kimmy. Yep. 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 No. So this is the first time I've actually tied her here. I've always tied her up next to her mother. And, but I've only actually tied her, I think three times, something like that. So I don't want to go get a brush and leave her here right now, just because I don't want her to fight it. And with me here, she's left at, less apt to fight it. But I'm just using my hand like I would a brush. Giving her a brushing all over the place. Easy girl. She's 
she's turning into quite a nice little filly. Quite happy with her. Yes, 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 yes. You like that, don't you? You like that. Okay. Yep, yep. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if she did try to pull on the halter a little bit, although she really has not done it yet. Be great if she doesn't, but it wouldn't surprise me if she did. Sometimes they just have to fight a little bit themselves and realize nothing's going to give, nothing's going to allow them to get away, and they'll give up pretty darn fast if there's not a serious problem. But she's doing good. And like I said, after a three day, I think at least three days that I haven't even touched her. Well, I touched her last night for the first time and I think it was two days before that, I never even put my hand on her. I come out here and I grain them at supper time and uh, I'll grain my workers and because they're inside. Well, ladies and Bree is sometimes they're inside, sometimes they're outside, but I just throw the grain in there. And if, if I don't do this right at, at this time so that I can tie um, lady, uh, it's just, I haven't bothered, I just don't bother doing it unless I can tie a little. So, but we've got some other things going on that we're going to be doing with these two. And uh, we're going to start getting them outside of the barn and start leading Lady around and have them Brie follow and have her be led also outside. But it all takes time and right at the moment we are right out straight doing work. So we don't have a lot of time to do a lot of stuff. But we'll have time, more time as things progress on. And even so, with as little I've worked with her, she's just doing so well. So I'm going to let her go. I'm going to go and have supper myself. And she can have a nice evening by her, with her and her mom. So, oops. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You guys have a great day. We'll see you next time.